Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, here I'm gonna show you how to record the master output of Ableton into OBS when you're using a Mac. Um, this took me a really long time to figure out, so um, I'm happy to share this with you. Hopefully you can do it and the same works for you as well. The first thing you wanna do is download Black Hole. Um, we're gonna use this to send the audio from Ableton to OBS. So um, you can download this for free. Once you've downloaded Black Hole, you should go to audio MIDI setup. So you can find this uh, by searching audio MIDI setup. You're gonna select create aggregate device. And you will select black hole together with uh, whatever interface you're using. Uh, I use the Scarlet. And then you see that it combines the inputs and the outputs of both black hole and the Scarlet. Um, for now, I want Black Hole to be behind Scarlet. Yes, like that. So output 1 to 20 is the Scarlet, and uh, output 21 and 22 are Black Hole. So remember that, and then you can rename it if you want. Uh, it's now called Aggregate Device 2. If I go back to Ableton now, we go to Settings, to the audio output device, and then we pick our aggregate device that we've just made. I called mine uh, Scarlet plus Black Hole, so I'm gonna select that one. And you have to figure the output configuration. One and two is the normal output of your Scarlet, and then 21 and 22 is the output of Black Hole. That's how we selected it here, remember? So one to 20 is Scarlet, 21, 22, is black hole. Now the audio should be sent to both your Scarlet uh, and black hole. And then the final trick is to create on the master channel, uh, we create two sends, one to the Scarlet and one to black hole. So I did it by using an effect rack. Where is it? Yeah, here, audio effect rack. And then we're gonna add an external audio. Hello, external audio. Yeah. All right, now we're sending one, two, audio, output one and two, which is our Scarlet. And we're gonna create a second one that we're going to send to 2122, which is Black Hole. Now, when we move to OBS, let's open OBS. Let's make a new one. We create a new scene. Then we capture our screen, obviously. Well, let's do display capture. Um, I'm also adding an audio input. And now the device that we should use is Black Hole because that's what we sent our audio from uh, to uh, from Ableton. Uh, we don't need the Mac OS screen capture, so I'm gonna mute that. So I got the MacBook mic and I rename this to Black Hole. Okay, so this should work. This should give us now uh, the sound of uh, my uh, master output in Ableton. So yeah, we can see we have input here from Black Hole. That's our master. At the same time, I can listen with my headphones and my MacBook mic is also recording my voice. So you could replace that, of course, with another you know, uh, another input like a microphone if you want to. Finally, there is one uh, very important uh, last step, and that's to make sure that your MacBook mic uh, audio and the audio from Ableton are both sent to a different audio track so you can mix them separately in uh, your video editing software. Uh, so we're gonna select advanced audio properties. Then you want to select your MacBook mic at uh, track number one and then your black hole uh, output at track number two and disable all the other tracks. Then you go to settings 
output, you select advanced audio uh, output here. And then if you go to recording, you have to enable audio track one and audio track two. I cannot select them now because I'm recording, so I can't change anything. So one is a MacBook bike, two is black hole. Then uh, your video file is gonna create two audio tracks uh, that are separate and that you can mix separately. All right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.